All right then gang, so I just want to take a quick sidestep here to tell you about a little tool that you can install in the Chrome browser called React Developer Tools. And this might help you a little bit when you're developing applications, at least at the start, to keep track of the state and the different data inside your different components when you're building an application. So what you want to do is head to this address right here. I'm not going to read it out, but I will leave the link down below in the description. And that's going to take you to this page where you can add this to Chrome, React Developer Tools. I've already done that, but you'll just need to click this green button right here. Then just restart your browser and make sure it's active. When it's active, you're going to see this little icon in the top right. You might not be able to see it very well here because it's faded. But whenever you go onto a website thereafter, and that website is using React, this is going to light up either red if it's using a development version of React, which in the most case it won't be. It will be using a production version. And in that case, it will be blue. So for example, if I go to our project so far, I say project, it's just these two lines. We can see that this is now red and white up here. So that means it's using the React production build here. So uh, the development build rather, sorry. So what I can do now is go over here. And in fact, if I just make this a little wider, we're going to see a React tab at some point sooner or later. If you don't see it, just click on this arrow and go to React. There we go. So now we can see the components inside our application here. And you can see this root one right here, this app component. This is the only component that we have at the minute. And it's the one that we rendered to the DOM. If we go to the code over here, we can see down here this app component. That's what we rendered to the DOM. And that's what React Tools is picking up over here. OK, so we can see that. And when we select it, we can see the states over here. We can also see the props, which there's nothing in at the minute. But we'll talk about props later on in the course. But for now, we can see the state of this component. And if there were more components, we could click on those and see the state of those components as well. You can expand this as well if you want to see the, the, the tree of elements inside, but we don't need to do that. I just wanted to demonstrate that we can see this data over here. And if I wanted to update this, so I wanted this to be Ryu, for example, I could do that and it's gonna automatically update on the left. Same for the age, if I change this to 25, it's going to update on the left as well. So I can play around with my application using different data on the fly using these React tools. Now, I understand that not every person that visits your website is going to interact with your website this way. They're not going to open up this React DevTools tab and start playing around with your data. This is just for you to kind of play around with. And the way that the state would change in a real scenario would be that the user comes to your website, maybe interacts with it, clicks buttons or enters into a form. And then that's going to dynamically change the state when we hook up those listeners and events later on. So this is just for you to kind of test the state out, I suppose, and see what's going on in your different components as you're building. Just a quick example of another site. Uh, if you go to the reactjs.org website, the official React website, you can see that they use React 2 and they use the production build. You can see it's a blue and black icon now. And again, if you go to the React tab, you can see all these different components that the React website is using. And I've just gone to this to do up over here, which is this section. And you can see this is the state over here. So we have a text uh, property, which is the text which is in here. And if I update this, so for example, say buy milk, you can see it's updating over on the right as well. And if I update it over here as well, so something like play video games, you're going to notice once I click away, it's going to update over here as well. OK, so the items at the minute, we just have one item and you can see text. Hey, there, which is this thing over here. But if I delete that and say something like buy milk, it's going to update on the left over there. You can see. And also, if I add something over here, play video games, it's going to add it to the state over here. So this is a really good way and a really nice tool to let you interact with your components when you're just kind of testing your application. So I thought I'd take a little side step there just to show you this tool in case you do want to use it. Remember, the link to that tool is going to be right down below in the description.